Hello everyone, my name is Lemar Chignac, Chief Economist for IA Financial Group. So over the next five, seven minutes, I will try to summarize our uh, latest monthly webinar that we have just recorded uh, to the benefit to our advisor and to our clients. Uh, but before sharing uh, my thought for 2020, first, Happy New Year. Second, why not make a little post-mortem uh, regarding 2019 uh, financial asset performance? Because uh, you remember a year ago, what a change compared to a year ago because I remember in early January last year, people was scary, uh, fed up about the performance of their funds and their returns in 2018, uh, all asset classes as negative return. And a lot of folks out there talk about possibly of possibility of recession. In our case, I share my I have shared my optimism, if you remember, that no, no, uh, the, the quality recession did not exceed 30%. And if I'm right, that you, we have no recession, guess what? Usually the market recovers the losses in the following quarters. This is exactly what happened. So what explains this huge shift in terms of performance of asset classes from negative 2018 to almost all positive 2019? It's about central banks. As simple as that, it's liquidity. So it was a U-turn, basically, from central banks. You remember 2018, it was about rate normalization, uh, whatever Federal Reserve or other. Uh, 2019, Federal Reserve stopped increasing interest rate, and by, mi by midsummer, they start to ease again. So that explains why the bond market has rallied so much. Uh, we have uh, close to above 75 business points reduction of interest rate in the long rates, and uh, Wall Street has performed very well. Even the gold and the uh, oil price has, has rebound. So which is very unusual to have these four categories perform well. Gold, bullion, uh, of course, oil, and with bonds and stocks. This is our first in 35 years that uh, bullion, gold, uh, bonds, and stocks perform very well at the same time. So uh, what is, uh, how do, you, do we see things in 2020? First, on the big picture economy, I invite you to be back to my latest uh, webinar and Facebook in, in uh, December because we share our uh, optimism regarding uh, a rebound in the manufacturing sector in 2020 uh, with uh, the trade truce that we have uh, between China and, and US. So today, uh, my webinar and the incoming minutes is more about the opportunity on the capital market. So what is the opportunity? First, on the bond market, make no mistake, I doubt very much that we have such kind of return that we have enjoyed in 2019. Okay, uh, central banks will not increase interest rate, they will not decrease, but uh, it's probably the coupon that we will have as, as a return. And our colleague teams on the fixed income, in fact, overweight corporate bonds in order to offer a better yield than just uh, treasuries. But it will, should be normally positive return on the bonds, but not as much as last year. Uh, we think that uh, as a strategist and a portfolio manager of a diversified funds, we think that equities provide a better opportunity. So, uh, uh, in fact, on equities, okay, U.S. stock market has performed very well in the last uh, few years. As in fact, in the last decades, they beat the EF big time. But uh, looking ahead, we think that U.S. stock market will have more competition from other asset classes and other categories like emerging market, like European bonds, and uh, like uh, Canadian stocks. I will develop. First, on emerging market, of course, this trade war between U.S. and China has affected a lot of emerging countries because uh, in U.S., external sector is not very important. The economy is 12% of the economy, but South Korea, many uh, emerging market is very important. It's between 50-70% of their GDP. So if you have a slowdown of China due to the trade war, guess what? They, uh, in fact, have a lot of the impact. So they trade at 12.5-13 times forward earnings compared to 18.5 times forward earnings. And uh, in the next few years, where the economic growth would come from, it would come from emerging countries. They explain already more than 50% of the economic growth, but they represent only 15% of the global market cap. So we think they have an opportunity, and this is an election year. Mr. Trump wants to be elected. He have no appetite interest to have a, a, a trade war. We think that this trade truce will be there until the next election, and probably the U.S. dollar will start to suffer with the Fed on the sideline. So emerging markets should benefit. Second opportunity, Europe. 
In the last three years, it was all about Brexit and Brexit, and it was a huge saga. Uh, but now we have this majority government in UK, so they have ratified the, the Brexit. And okay, they have some many things to fix. Okay, it's not so, we are not out of the wood yet, but the valuation is very cheap. And what is interesting, UK central bank will probably cut interest rate, and the pressure will start to build on Germany to use the fiscal tool, just like Mr. Trump have used the fiscal tool. And uh, in fact, they have uh, the good ba uh, clean balance sheet in in uh, in uh, Germany. And Madame Lagarde, who will now the lead is the leader of the European Central Banks. Uh, but the former IMF uh, leader and former finance ministers know very well that we need to use the fiscal tool in order to uh, remove some pressure on the European Central Bank. Uh, what's the implication? The implication could be a steepening yield curve because we have negative rates out there. So probably the long rates will start to increase again and banking stocks will benefit a lot because banking stocks in Europe has been, look, just like Japan banks, been affected negatively uh, by these negative rates. Third, Canada. So Canada trade at 15 times forward earnings compared to 18 times in, in US. And if we are right that about a prolonged economic expansion, no interest rate increase, weakening US dollar, guess what? Commodity price uh, will perform well. And Canada, it's about, as you know, energy. We have gold as well, bullion. So gold stocks as well uh, have a, a more importance in Canadian stock market than other market. So Canada is well positioned for a prolonged economic cycle and a renewed interest on in commodities with a weakening US dollar. So that summarizes uh, what uh, we have uh, explained to our uh, advisor on the webinar. But uh, since each of us uh, are different, okay, uh, we think that your objective on investment is different, risk tolerance is different, I invite you very strongly uh, to sit with your advisor and uh, revise your portfolio to have the and consider about the opportunity for 2020. So thank you for listening and thank you for your con for your confidence and uh, have a good year.